excited about this week because I am doing the first official ice cream week on my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you guys five delicious gluten-free and dairy-free ice cream options which happen to be some of my favorite ice cream flavors. And we are kicking it off with my personal favorite mint chocolate chip. I'm pretty sure it's the only thing I ever order when I get ice cream. If you're a chocolate mint chocolate chip lover, leave me a comment down below. It's my absolute favorite. And today's recipe is super great because it's actually a healthified version of it. You don't need any artificial coloring or flavoring to make this ice cream. So let's hop right into it and I will show you guys how to make it. For this recipe, you're going to need coconut milk and soy milk, soaked cashews, honey or any sweetener of choice, coconut oil, chocolate chips, sea salt, fresh mint, some ripe avocado, arrowroot flour, and vanilla. In a saucepan, you're going to combine your milk and your sweetener. Whisk that together and then bring that over to the stove and bring it up to a boil. And then once it's brought up to a boil, you can go ahead and scoop some out into a side bowl. And you're going to just mix in your arrowroot flour to dissolve it separately so you don't end up with any lumps. And the arrowroot flour just really helps as a thickener in this since we're not using any eggs or anything. It's going to make it super creamy and freeze well when it's in the freezer. You're going to add that mixture back into the pot, give it a whisk and bring it back over to the stove top on low to medium heat and you wanna bring it to a simmer and simmer it for about five minutes so everything dissolves and thickens. Once everything is thickened, you wanna transfer it into a glass bowl so it can cool completely and just set it aside for about 40 minutes or so just until it cools completely. In a high speed blender, I'm using my Vitamix here. I have a link for it down below, but I'm adding in all my ingredients so we can blend everything up and get it nice and smooth. As always, the full measurements and recipe will be on my blog, healthnutnutrition.ca. Pour your mixture into your ice cream maker, making sure to follow the directions for your ice cream maker. Mine says to chill my bowl for 24 hours in the freezer before making it. And then you just wanna press on and churn it for about 25 minutes or so until it starts to thicken up. And then during the last five minutes, you're gonna add in your chopped up chocolate chips. I chop mine up, but you can totally leave them in as whole as well. And then once it's ready, this is what you'll have. It's almost like a soft serve, so if you want it a bit harder, you can just scrape it into an ice cream bowl or container and pop it in the freezer for about four hours just to harden. I'm using this uh, awesome Tupperware container I got, I think, at HomeSense. I'll try to find a similar one down below and link it. I'm just gonna scoop out my ice cream into it to save it for later. I find this Tupperware really helps keep it fresh in the freezer without any like crystallization or freezer burn taste. And there you have it, your mint chocolate chip ice cream. Or you can just scoop some into an ice cream bowl and enjoy it right away. I hope you guys enjoy this ice cream. It's the perfect one for summer and get ready for four more awesome flavors. I know you guys are gonna love it, but this is probably one of my favorites because I am just a diehard fan of mint chocolate chip. today's recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're excited for Ice Cream Week, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, you can do so by clicking the red button right here so you don't miss out on any videos this week for Ice Cream Week. And leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite ice cream recipe is. I would love to get some awesome ideas maybe for next year's Ice Cream Week if we make this an annual thing. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!